Let's go see Amar again and tell him that I've fucked up and upset Lucha, upset Lucha with the whole... Can you hear whispering again? Oh, it's here! That was an easy one to miss. Here we go. Era 4, Section 1. Panopticon. Everyone is being watched now. The creator's eyes are everywhere. Technological marvels allow the mortals to visit stunningly realistic virtual worlds. But the creator is tracking their behaviour even in these simulated spaces. There's no escape from the surveillance. Oh dear, that's definitely... That's much too... That's much too much. Creator, that's much too much. Sorry, buddy. I didn't mean to float off like that. I just heard... Uh... Ah, oh, that's not what I was expecting to happen. Um... Oh, it's Ketri and Esty. Are they about to create a new world? Or was that just like a little vision? I think I just had a little vision. You still with me, friend? You seem a little out of it. Take it easy, okay? I planted the tangle heart seed and it sprouted right away. Lutra seems to really like it. Glad to hear Lutra's enjoying it. Everything's going well so far, huh? I also told it not to eat the whole thing and it didn't like that. I think it's still hungry, but it won't talk to me anymore. <laughs> Maybe I could talk to it. See if I can explain why it needs to go easy on the new tangle heart. You think that might help? Yes, please. I'll pay Lutra a visit as soon as I get a chance. I think we can work this out. Oh, thank you, buddy. I think that vision was saying, like... Um, Ketri and Esty are now... Number one... Uh, number one likelihood to be the creators of the new world. I think that must be what that meant. I'm just gonna sort of swim around and see if I can hear any voices again. Whee! Never gets old. Oh, we've collected nine of 48 illustrations. Uh, we are. Ah, oh, just say. We're in like the. the basin near. Let's go to Moss Cabin. We're in like the basin near the kelp forest, I think? Not 100% sure. Okay, there's two more pages in the moss cavern. There's that square thing down there. Is that? Oh, it's the rock! Camo. Look, I get it. Rocks are great listeners. But can you scram? I'm trying to blend in here. <laughs> yeah. I forgot. Okay, um, so coral reef, eel kingdom, kelp forest. I wonder if the layout here has anything to do with the location. Oh, new friend! We didn't know you were coming by. Did you need something? Can you tell me about that portal? Uh, well, it's a way we have of seeing the palace, where we came from. It's not a portal. We can't use it to go back there. I think we're done with it for now, though. Let's do something else, new friend. I, I gotta go. I'll see you later. Aw, bless them. Eel Kingdom. Kelp Forest. Just places I've been before, I don't know where I'm supposed to find these new dudes. Hi, are you willing to talk to me yet? Familiar one, speak thoughts together again? Has the fairy one come to visit you lately? Fairy one arrived just before. Fairy one's words gave this one new thoughts. Words were, f words were of futures. First future, this one eats plant with better taste fast, gains much energy. But then new plant gone never arrives again, too much eaten. Second future, this one eats new plants slowly, less energy for now, but better taste plant remains, less eaten. This one wants second future, harder, growing will be slower, but future will be better. It worked! Thoughts? I think the fairy one did a good job helping you pick the best future. Agreement. Happiness. But this one still worries. 
Ferns alone enough? Maybe this one searches for other new plants outside the cave. Maybe something is found that familiar one could not find. If you think you're ready, give it a try. Just be careful. Many words. This one will think more. Oh. Want to talk about something else for now? Have the two that are one come to see you lately? Understanding of those ones easier this time. Shared words with this one. Slow and patient. Two that are one showed this one activities with those who win and those who lose. This one took time to understand, but fun ensued. Aww, this one misses the two now. I'm sure they'll visit you again. I'm good. I hope I can tell them that Lutra misses them. Let's see if they come back. This is Lutra's little pod. Was it, yeah, one out of three we've got in this area? Oh, hello. Yeah. Where are ya? Era 2, Section 3, Predestination. Each mortal is now assigned a job by the creator and works the same one until they retire or die. The new society is very industrious. Technology has advanced in leaps and bounds, but I know there are those who disagree with all this. Hmm, starting to take away choice. <sighs> well, that's good. There's only one more page in this area now, then. Hey, little guys. Is that one there? I think we might just have found the third one. Oh, we're cooking with gas now. Era 2, Section 1. Oversight. The creator's solution for society's ills is simple. Put laws into place and enforce them vigorously. Plans are made to monitor the mortals more closely and deliver quick, severe punishments for any transgressions. I mention this will come at a sacrifice of day-to-day -day comfort and happiness for the mortals. The creator doesn't seem to mind. Hmm, safety and security. Four. Happiness and freedom. Difficult philosophical questions. New creatures in the kelp forest! Let's go see the twins. I heard from Lutra that you two paid her a visit again. It was a lot of fun. We told it about cool stuff we've seen in the ocean. We tried talking slow and describing things a lot. Then we wondered if we could teach it some games. And it worked! It learned how to do hide and seek. Well, kinda. It doesn't know how to pick good hiding spots. But it knows the rules. It was really cool. Even better than we were hoping. Thanks for showing us, new friend. I think it would be happy if you went back sometime. Ah. I feel like we're doing really well with Ketri and Esti. Let's go back to the kelp forest. Are we in the kelp forest? Yeah. There's ten fish here now. Kelp forest feels bigger. It feels harder to find. <laughs> Look at this little guy whizzing around. Roll. Rolling, rolling, rolling. I think if I keep practicing my roll, someday I'll roll right into your heart. Sorry, who are you? I mean... Don't mind me, just working on some self-improvement. But watch out, one day my role will really impress you. I'm sure it will, Raoul. <laughs> well, little buddy. Hi. Hey, this place isn't what I was looking for back when you told me about it, but I feel like it's given me a new perspective on things. Thanks for telling me about it. You're welcome, Thrill. Hey, guys. Glitter fan, teach us to be like you, Glitter. They were saying the same thing. How are you doing, Glitter? Greetings, darling. It's been a while, hasn't it? I hope you're well. I'm afraid our class is full at the moment, but we may have vacancies sometime in the future. Do take care. Oh, I'm glad that Glitter is doing very well. Hey, buddy. Good to see ya. How you been? As you can see, I'm a bit busy. Just passing on some wisdom. We're full up right now, but maybe we'll have room for you later. Did you know Glitter is teaching a class too? Oh, you mean the so-called other life of the party? Well, they just never give up, huh? Guess that's how it is when you got everything figured out. Always gotta be imitators. But that's no problem for you, right buddy? I know you know the difference. Are these people all gonna say, teach us how to be like you, Flash? Yep. <laughs> Wonderful. Hey, Sea Cucumber. Dive. You gotta believe in yourself. That's a lesson I learned back in the day. But listen, don't forget to question yourself once in a while. 
Doesn't mean you have to change your mind, just be open to the possibility of it, you know? That is some seriously wise advice, dude. Thank you. Who's this little buddy? He's not rolling around like a maniac. Shade. This is my perfect spot. Everyone should have one. And if you have a perfect spot, why ever leave? Well, I might get bored being in the same perfect spot forever. Hello, Snoop. Hey, I don't think I know you. That's weird, I never miss a party out here. Who invited you, huh? Uh, I brought tasty snacks. Whoa, whoa, okay, doesn't matter how you got here then. Good job thinking ahead, bring them on in. I've been accepted. Anything down here? No. Well, we won out three, yeah. I keep telling people the rule, but they won't listen. It's killing me. <laughs> oh no. The rule is to have fun, party hard, party all the time, something like that. I forget. There are a bunch of new buddies around here somewhere. Oh, over here. Oh, it's the swordfish and the dolphin. I know I'm only torturing myself, but I still can't get that dolphin out of my head. Where'd you go? Oh, there you are. Oh, hello again. Say, I was thinking about a way to repay the swordfish for their kind interest. Maybe you could tell them I said their bladed snout is truly impressive. Wonderful, thank you ever so much. Oh god, I bet he mishears it as a horrible insult. Definitely not concerned about what any dolphin thinks of me. The dolphin says your bladed snout is truly impressive. Oh, of course, just like a stupid dolphin to... Wait a sec, truly impressive? My bladed snout? That's what they said. Well then, I mean, that's embarrassing. But it was still nice of them, I guess. Told the dolphin I say, thanks? Cool. Yeah, that's cool. Thanks. Uh, uh there you are. Hey, Flip. The swordfish seemed very flattered. I think you've made a new friend. Aw, thanks again for your help. No problem, buddy. Oh, we got an achievement for that. That's cute. Alright, where's the mark on? It's like way over the other way. <laughs> it's the little shadow of the, um... The crab break dancing is so wonderful. Oh, are you going to tell me what's going on with this door? Hey there, friend over here. Good timing. I wanted to show you something. See that big door behind me? The one who built it does a lot of experiments in the ocean. And when she's away from her lab in the mid seas, she keeps this door here locked down. But now it's unlocked, which means you should be able to head through and see what's out there. Oh, cool. Me, I prefer it here where the water's warmer and brighter. But I know you like to travel and see new things, so you'll probably love it. Just wanted to let you know. Take it easy. Oh, thanks, Amar. Yeah, lockdown lifted. Ooh. Um. Okay. There's new creatures in the coral reef now as well. Mid seas. Ooh, exciting. This must be where the other dudes are. The other deities, creators, gods, whatever they are. What's that? Is it just a light? It's just a light. It's a bit spooky down here. I can see why Amar prefers not to visit. Wow, it's weird. I think it's the absence of the cutesy, happy music that is making it spookier. Hi! Oh! Hello out there! Yes, you, I can see you. If you'd like to talk, please address the loudspeaker near the main entrance. I wanted to talk to this killer whale, actually. Hi! Oh my gosh, look at you! Is it a killer whale? I think so, right? You're so gorgeous! Cobalt, I do not remember you! Yet you have been here before, somewhere within you. You already know this. Wow. Deep. Yeah, the whole the whole way it works is that I lose my memories every time. For some reason I'm the one who picks um, who gets to be the next deity and part of that is losing my memories. Gosh, it's so freaky. Good job I've got the radar. I'd never find a little fish in here otherwise. Hello. What's a beautiful eel? Rivet. 
Ah, those glowing, flowing patterns. Mesmerizing, eh? You ever try getting closer? Nah, I keep my distance. I've heard weird stories about what goes on out there. Yeah, fair enough. I mean, it is a laboratory, right? Uh, I would probably keep my distance as well. Hi, beautiful. Cobalt, you are so gorgeous. Alright, let's, um... I guess let's go and, uh... hail the loudspeaker. So that's a locked door. The main entrance, they said. Well, there's a little buddy over here, apparently. Oh no, that's the loudspeaker I can talk to. Now then, any particular reason you're loitering outside my lab? Um, it caught my attention. I haven't seen anything else like it in the ocean. Well, can't say I blame you. This station of mine is one of a kind. How can I help you then? I'd like to learn more about this place. Ha! I don't really do tours. Much too busy for that. You're welcome to have a look while I work, if you like. You'll just need to let me scan you beforehand. Safety protocol. Is that okay with you? Uh, how does it work? The information I collect will only be used to assess you as a potential threat. Nothing personal, it's how I keep the lab safe. I'll keep the data for archival purposes, but that's all there is to it. Does that seem fair? Yeah, sure. Very good. I'm going to open the first door in front of you. Just step in once you're ready. Ooh. Perfect. Now stay right there. You won't be able to move during the procedure, but don't worry, it only takes a few seconds. This is quite intimidating. Alright. And, hmm? That teleporter you're carrying, it's one of my old prototypes. Well, no worries. Feel free to keep it. The version I'm using now is much better. Anyway, the scan results are looking good. Congratulations, you're not an obvious threat! I'll open the second door for you. Just follow the tunnel straight ahead. Uh, thank you. It's cool in here. Some ferns. Oops. Ooh. This is the first, like, techie thing we've sort of seen in this whole place. What's this, like a big, uh, telescope? It's like a big telescope. It looks a bit like, um, if you've seen devs, it looks a bit like the main sort of computer thing in there. Hello! At last we meet face to face. Oh my god, the eyes. Please have a look around, there's lots to see here. Goodness, I haven't even introduced myself yet. I'm Alethea, and this is my humble workspace. And you are? I'm still trying to figure that out. Ah, the process of self-discovery never ends, does it? Wait, did you mean that literally? You really have no idea who you are? Pretty much. I've got a few leads, but I'm still piecing them together. I'm trying to imagine what that would be like. This station I built, the work I do here, these things anchor me and remind me who I am. Without them, I'm not sure what I would do. Anyway, I'm glad you've made some progress. You said you wanted to know more about the lab, correct? Might I ask why you're interested? This place is totally unique, I want to know more about who made it. Well, I certainly appreciate that. As it happens, I've been trying to unravel the mysteries of our world for a long time. That's why I built the station. It's a home base where I can conduct my studies. I'm doing some research now that might interest you, in fact. Feel free to ask me about anything. Tell me about your research. I'd be glad to. Not long ago, my instruments picked up some energy signals I didn't recognise. These signals were coming from the deep ocean, hundreds of fathoms below the lab. Shortly afterward, a cloud of strange organic debris appeared in the mid-seas water. I took some samples of the debris right away. I've been eager to study these samples and see whether they're connected to the signals somehow, but... Sadly, I've been too swamped lately. Maybe I can help? Nonsense, we've only just met. I can't put you out like that. Although... Do you know Amar by any chance? Or the twins, Ketri and Esti? Yeah, I know all three of them. Good. I've done various kindnesses for them in the past and they all owe me favours. They were supposed to help me around the lab, but... None of them have bothered to show up yet. At any rate, I could use an assistant on my current project, so perhaps you could speak to one of them for me. Doesn't matter who, it's a very simple task. Is that something I could entrust to you? Yeah, yeah. Totally. Once you're able to convince someone, send them directly here. They know where to find me. Sounds good. Have you seen that big pod in the moss cavern? It's a fascinating thing. It even seems alive, doesn't it? I'd like to examine it further, but I've been reluctant to disturb it. Disturb it. I found out there's a little bug called Lutra that was living inside it. Really? That sounds remarkable. Would you say it seems safe to go there now? Could I take a few sample in that area of the caves without worrying? 
yeah, Leech was harmless. I'm gonna make a few preparations and then I'll be off. Thanks for the information. No problem. Tell me about the glowing sheet floating above the station. That is my solar sail. Have you wondered what provides a station with power? The answer is the sun. The sail is made of a flexible material covered in solar cells. The top of the sail has a negative charge while the bottom has a positive charge. When sunlight hits the sail, the resulting reaction creates a flow of electricity between the two layers. Then all I have to do is tap into that flow to power everything. Voila! There isn't much sunlight down here. That's the challenge I was facing. Believe it or not, this station can move. I can raise it to the water surface or submerge it as necessary. At the surface, it's easy to capture lots of sunlight. The deeper you go, the darker it gets, right? So I experimented with many different sail materials to harness solar energy more efficiently. I also had to develop high capacity batteries to store the power I generate at the surface where sunlight is plentiful. Come to think of it, my station is a bit like a whale. It can dive to impressive depths, but it has to return to the surface periodically to recharge. That is cool. Um, tell me about the huge telescope underneath this room. It's got a way of catching the eye, hasn't it? As you may have noticed, the bottom of the lab has a metal housing to keep the telescope safe. There's a switch down there you can use to open or close it. Give it a try sometime. As for its purpose, I built the telescope to see far away things above the surface more clearly, but I wanted to try scanning the sea floor with it as well. It's hard to travel too deep because of the water pressure. Much safer to view it all from here. How do you see what's on the sea floor when it's so dark down there? I was curious about whether anything on the sea floor might be giving up just a tiny bit. Less than my eyes would see, even without mag magnification. So I outfitted the telescope with a system to pick up light, convert it to electricity, and then amplify it before turning it back into an image. That did the trick! There is something down in the depths that projects halos of light. They're very faint, but they are there. Mysterious. Um, how did you build this place? It's been an arduous process. The final result's impressive though, isn't it? It's very impressive, actually. It even impresses me sometimes. But the station wasn't always as it is now. It's in a constant, never-ending state of refinement. And the most important tool of all is my fabricator. Alethea is lovely, but talks a lot. You may have seen it already. It's the golden structure built on the rocks above the water surface. It's what allows me to manufacture my creations with such, such precision, including the lab itself. How does it work? The fabricator requires source materials. When I'm on expeditions in the ocean, I'm always looking for new things to feed it. Organics, rocks, metals. It can break down just about anything and reconstitute it. I also provide it with schematics so it knows how to build what I have in mind. Then I just fit the parts together and make sure they all work as intended. Sometimes they don't. No catastrophic failures yet, thankfully. Amazing. Um, I better I better shoot off because we've uh, we've talked a lot. My voice is starting to hurt. I want to look around your lab though. It's cool. Look at all these little samples. Oh. Don't know what I'm doing, but I enjoy pressing buttons. Oops! Oh no! She doesn't seem to have noticed that I knocked over a lot of her stuff. So it sounded like I can interact with the telescope. There was a switch that I could try using. Oh, is it this one? Oh, and that opens up the bottom so you can scan around. Oh, cool. Can I, can I, can I? Or does it just open up and look cool? Whoa. I think it just opens up and look cool. looks cool. It's very freaky down there. I think that's where I came in, right? Oh, that's the ocean. Do these other doors just sort of plump you out into the ocean? Oh no, this is different. Hello. Oh, why are you in a little tube, little buddy? You okay? Oops. Sometimes I forget that I can uh, actually <laughs> impact stuff. I forget that I'm a physical form that can affect the world. Oops. Hi! 
Black Tip Reef Shark. Black Tip Reef Shark. I love you. You're one of my favourites. I grew up near some fans like you. Well, here's one I can chat to. Hi. Citron. Oh, uh, hello. Uh, how are... Can I help you? Just wanted to say hi. Well, thank you. See, I'm not used to anyone talking to me. Areas tend to clear out whenever I'm around. Everyone gets nervous. But all I'm doing is exploring. I'm just curious. Oh, but you're so cute! Why would people be nervous? You're so cute! And the whale song. It's getting very dark. Getting very dark down here. So dark and so quiet. The shadows of the occasional fish swimming overhead are really cool. God, I can actually see even less down here with the radar on. Am I hearing whispering or is it my imagination because it's quiet? The um, scientist said there's a thing on the surface, right? That they like... used to make their fabricator happen, make their fabricator work. See if we can see it. That must be it there, that shape. No, nope, that's just a rock. Oh, there it is. It's even a bit spooky up here. It's not usually spooky on the surface. Yeah, it's just like an extension of the, uh... of the thing below water. Well... A bit freaky in here. I should um what did what did she want me to do? She wanted me to go to uh, Oh there's no pages in this area. Well, that's worth knowing. We've missed a fish though. There's a fish to talk to that we've not seen. There's a buddy. Over there? That one we've not spoken to? No, that's like that's like the eel that we've spoken to. One, two, three, four. This is one, two, three. Oh, because the fourth one is um Ah, this way. S S S S S S S S I've forgotten already. Hello? Who's perched on this little shelf over here? Hi, it's a little sea slug. Mull. I do my, I do a lot of my best thinking out here, far away from everyone else. It's fun. Go ahead, let your mind wander. Okay. Let's have a little bit of a think. Seems like a good place to think. Hmm. Mm-hmm. Ah, uh, yeah, I should have thought about that sooner.